feels like waking up on Christmas morning. Every revolution is followed by a counter-revolution. Uh, in democratic societies, when there is a swing too far to one end of the political uh, spectrum, there is a, an equal and opposite reaction. I'm disappointed, you know, that we as a country, we didn't repudiate racism and xenophobia and intolerance and misogyny. And who, oh, I guess I just keep thinking about a quote in history. Ben Franklin was asked about the Constitution, what kind of government is it going to make? And he said, a republic if you can keep it. And I'm about to go face my students and tell them that the work of keeping it continues. I really believed that we hit the ground running campaigning, that while this was not going to be an easy win, we were surely going to win. My children didn't stay up to watch it when they did wake up. Uh, they asked who won. I said Donald Trump won. Um, my five-year-old said the mean man. So children understand to an extent. For me, it wasn't that Donald Trump won. It was that sexism won, that fear won, that bigotry, homophobia, hate. I think the reason that Hillary lost is the Joe McCarthy type throwing the words racist, ignorant, misogynist and anyone who didn't support her campaign. I'm not at all surprised. People are tired of feeling like they don't matter. For the, the Democratic Party especially, they talk about unity, yet they fail to ever unify with the, the Clinton supporters and the Sanders supporters. I have a deep sense of guilt, but also the knowing that for the Democratic Party, maybe it has to be burnt to the ground in order to start again.